much of my work has been with tavozinib, which is a uh, potent selective antagonist of VEGF receptors 1 through 3. And it is more potent and selective than some of the uh, uh, preceding agents that have been out there. Um, the, the agent uh, has been studied in a phase one monotherapy study in renal cell carcinoma that showed it to be active and well tolerated with the most common toxicities including hypertension and hoarse voice which are not uncommon toxicities for angiogenesis inhibitors. Um, there's been a phase three trial called TIVO1 which was presented at ASCO this year and that was a first line study com um, randomizing patients to serafinib or tavozinib. The arm that received uh, tavozinib had a superior progression free survival and a different toxicity profile with fewer dose reductions needed. Um, we've studied tavozinib in breast cancer in a phase one dose escalation trial looking at the combination of tavozinib with weekly paclitaxel. Um, in this study we enrolled 18 patients in three different dose levels and uh, we found that overall the regimen was well tolerated with the most common toxicities including fatigue, some GI toxicity, and some uh, mild neutropenia uh, and neuropathy. Uh, we had two DLTs seen on study, both of which were uh, fairly mild and not thought to be directly related to the study therapy. Um, we saw an overall response rate of about 30%. That was uh, four responses within the evaluable population and a disease control rate of 77%. So um, in summary, uh, DLT criteria were not met and so the maximum tolerated doses that were identified were tavozinib at 1.5 milligrams a day and weekly paclitaxel at 90 milligrams uh, per meter squared weekly. And um, this combination was reasonably active in a pretreated population with um, uh, the expected toxicities for these classes of agents.